What's up, y'all? Um, as I told you guys, I am going to be answering some questions from uh, people that, you know, uh, follow me here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And uh, yeah, we're just going to jump straight into it. First question is, what's most difficult about your creating process? Honestly, the most difficult thing about my creation process is actually getting it out there in front of people like yourself. Because I have a lot of ideas, I can press record, but then I have to edit and then I have to send it off, even though it may not be exactly where I want it to be in terms of quality. And that's just a really hard thing for me to grapple with at times. Sometimes I'm sending off things that are like 60, 70% done. But done is better than procrastination, but progress over perfection. Yeah. All of that great stuff, whatever quote that you can think of. So yeah, that is definitely the thing that is most difficult about my creating process is not the ideas, not the, um, not, uh, the recording because I can do that. It's actually turning around and sending it off, uh, editing it and sending it off, which can be a little difficult at times. Uh, what can a new we do to get their foot into the into the video recording water um honestly uh, if you have a phone start with your phone if you have a um, an actual camera most cameras now do have uh, uh, the capability of recording and they're not just pictures in particular so literally start with what you have start shifting your mind from um, if you do photography Stop, uh, start shifting your mind from just stills to um, a sequence of stills. So think about how you want to end and then you work yourself backwards. And it doesn't have to be anything long. Somebody walking into a coffee shop, you uh, get a wide angle of them going into the coffee shop. You get a tight angle of uh, them going to the coffee shop, maybe their face as they're going into the coffee shop, and then maybe their hand opening the door and then you time those well and yeah you create like a little scene of them coming you get a wide angle then when they go to reach for the door you cut to them reaching for the door and then their face as they're going in or something of that nature and then that's how you start to think about doing more video because while i love photography the thing that photography doesn't have that video does it tells a story in a more specific and clear way than with photos it tells a story but you're only seeing one moment in time but with video you're able to see a succession of moments which i really do love and uh, probably why video is like number one in my heart even though photography will always have a special place <laughs> but the next question that was asked is would you consider doing a phone camera only challenge very great question and i'll say this i have i didn't realize how late i was <laughs> the place i'm going to is like 30 minutes away and it's 30 minutes until i actually have to get there right just got here still not that late like five minutes late so that's not bad. I'm okay with that. good workout and yeah to answer that question yes i have done phone only content before and the funny thing about it is that it was extremely frustrating because i didn't like the workflow the workflow was very difficult for me because i'm used to uh, putting things into uh, Premiere Pro and not CapCut. I'm used to having more control of how the color looks and color grading 
phone footage, at least on the iPhone um, 13, is very, very difficult. So it wasn't exactly the most enjoyable experience, but it was definitely experience. And interestingly enough, the content did the best. One of the one of my top videos on the channel, and I did it with my phone. So. Uh, that just goes to show that you know you can practically use anything and people will still watch because you have good storytelling digital or film I'm gonna say digital because I haven't really tried film my extent of film is like the um, the instant cameras um, which I guess is technically film but not really not like your classic film where you have to load it up um, or having a roll of film or anything like that. Yeah, I've never, I've never gone that way um, as yet. And to be honest, I'm a little afraid of doing that because if I do go to film, I feel like I'm going to be one of those people that is highly addicted to it. And film is too much money for me to be spending money on film. Last question is number one tip for getting over being in front of the camera. I believe there's no like real quick fix to this in any way, shape or form. It just has to happen. <laughs> and what I mean by that is that you just need to put yourself in an uncomfortable space of getting in front of your camera and doing it over and over again until you become more comfortable. An alternative way is to do more public speaking. That definitely does help as well. And I know they have public speaking clubs in many different places and countries, different islands, all that great stuff. So maybe try and find a public speaking club that you can be a part of. And I believe it's free or honestly, it's not that much money to join like maybe like 15 or 20 bucks for a session that just helps you come out of your shell and learn how to public speak a little bit better. And that will Will translate to the camera so yeah that's what I would say how many copies of your toque do you have and I'm not wearing it right now only because this is my workout hat um, but I think I have about four different toques uh, two gray two black that I rotate um, I am a person that just likes to be very minimal this is actually something that you wouldn't usually uh, see me wearing but I was working out but I have about five black shirts five gray shirts um, two black pants one gray pants I have a green one that doesn't get worn often one well, the reason why I keep things around the shades is because I personally don't want to have to make decisions on what I want to wear so if I can go ahead and not make those decisions then I have brain power to make the decisions in my business and creatively um, on a daily basis so that's been helping I've been doing this for about through since 2020 so three years going on four years and it's probably the best thing that I have done so either way that's all for me today if this is something that bless your spirit go ahead and like this if this is something you want to keep up with go ahead and smash that subscribe button blow it up people's elbow it and all that great stuff and if you get want to get an alert of when the next one comes out go ahead and hit that bell as well please do until the next one go ahead and do something creative today peace Thanks, y'all. I appreciate the questions. <laughs> Later.